Guys, we are about to go down memory lane. We are about to play my very first Minecraft world. It was actually the very first series that ever, ever had on this channel, I think about four years ago now? Jeez, time has gone by very, very quickly indeed. I started off a Minecraft series called Ali A's Adventure. It's actually the inspiration for the name of my new graphic novel coming out later this year as well. That's where it sort of came from, was this series idea and name. And Ali A's Adventure is all about my very first experience in vanilla Minecraft, so no mods. Playing the game for the very first time, learning the basics, and you guys came along with me for the journey. I think we went on to our 136 or 137 Seven episodes and I had a backup for every single one of the episode world saves and what I've done is I've grabbed the last episode's world save and we are jumping into it today and for all of you guys that saw the original series I'm sure there'll be so much nostalgia so many memories as you go and revisit a load of the builds that I made my original house some of the great things that we did in the Minecraft world and if any of you guys haven't seen the series you guys can see everything I built because it turned into one epic epic adventure it did sadly eventually come to an end. We then did Allier's quests after it, but I had to revisit this world because there are so many memories. And I'm also thinking of maybe playing Minecraft again, potentially, for a brand new series. If you guys have any ideas for that or any thoughts on that, do let me know down below in the comment section. But guys, we're excited to jump back into the world of Allier's adventure for another awesome throwback experience. Give it a big fat thumbs up and let's just get straight into it. So, we are joining the world just as the sun is rising, which is the perfect time here in Allier's adventure. I spawned literally right here in the first episode and it was nothing but rubble, grass and pretty much nothing going on at all. So come along guys for the tour as we go inside my humble, humble abode within Allier's adventures. The first thing to know is that I love animals. I had loads of dogs, all with their own different coloured collar and there were loads and loads and loads of my favourite one was obviously the guy with the blue collar as well. We had a little bit of a uh, farm going on in the outside and also some awesome horses with armor on them as well. Armor is quite rare to find in Minecraft. Have I got any stored away in here? No, just loads of random uh, farmings from our farm outside front. And I also had a little well, which is like an infinite water source and also an area to dispose of items. I didn't want them. Actually, I can get rid of one right now and show you guys how it works. So, bam. Never seen those items again. Now, at the time of this series, I never had a cat. I always really wanted a cat. Obviously, now we've got Oliver and Darcy, and I love them both so much. But my Minecraft cats were, oh, those kind of sad, one of my very first cats I had, really. And I looked after them just as much as all of the other animals. And we'll check out everything you can see over there, because there's obviously some very awesome builds. But let's head on inside, guys, and show you the inside of Allier's house. What the heck are you doing in here? You're not supposed to be inside, you cheeky little sheep, you. Okay. Yeah, you, you can you can make your way out. Don't even worry. You're not supposed to be in here But the first thing you ought to do in Minecraft is obviously make yourself a house and my house started off with very humble humble beginnings With this little shack here, which was a lot lot smaller and it also led down to a very first mining pit That's where I found my very first iron ever in Minecraft. It actually got me very excited I think it took me a few episodes to find iron for the very first time a little bit of an eating area over here We stored a few items over there as well. Oh, we've got quite a few discs a lot of dye now You need a lot of dye to get all of the colored red Rainbow sheep, I'll show you guys in a second, and all the colored uh, doggies as well. We then did a little bit of an extension out here with very cool, may I say, almost checkerboard style flooring. Like that a lot, Ali. Well done, past Ali. You've done a great job. A future Ali approves. And then upstairs on the first level, we had our enchanting room with a few anvils, a music player as well. Have I got any discs I can put in there? I don't know if I had. We could play some music if we had. Oh, we do. Normally, the music in Minecraft is pretty terrible. I can't lie to you guys, so. This is called Cat, and as you can tell, it is terrible, so we are not going to play any more music, but it does work. So this is where we did our very first enchantments. This is where I got all the enchantments you can see on my armor here. This is like my sort of go-to armor, of course, my diamond sword. With my diamond pickaxe, and getting great enchantments was always a lot of fun. We had some great bows as well, actually. Infinity, Flame, and Unbreaking. That is pretty beast. You could also merge bows together or... Um, Using the anvil, like, sort of craft them together to make them even bigger or better. This is where a lot of our preparation for our day's attack or day's mission began. And obviously, we slept in the bed right here and kicked it off every single day. I want to show you guys all the really cool things. It spoils it a little bit. A little bit of a glass flooring all the way down to the bottom there. This is the final thing I think we did, or one of the final things we did in the series, was get the ender dragon egg. If you place it on top, top of a little slab there, it sort of floats in the air. So it looks very, very cool indeed. One of the coolest parts of the house, because it was not easy to get that 
that at all. We then actually made our way all the way to the top of the house. It's definitely not finished. I'm kind of disappointed in myself with leaving the roof this, this terrible, to be honest with you. I should have definitely finished it off. But it does lead over to a little tree house, which I'll show you guys in a second. But we haven't quite explored the whole of the house yet. Actually, and over here, it leads over into the cave as well. But we'll check all this out in a second. So I did a little bit of an extension out here. This ended up really being the front of the house, the proper front of the house. Again, I don't know why I didn't finish the roof. I think I got quite bored with building and a lot of the stuff I did on camera. I didn't want to bore you guys, so I think I just left the roof in the end. We've got chickens and dogs absolutely everywhere. And if we go outside very, very quickly, we've got a few gates here to stop any intruders. I really like the little pathway we did leading up to the house. This is kind of the front view. Maybe not the prettiest thing in the world, but I think it definitely worked quite well and was pretty cool indeed. And on top of that, so this right here, guys, who remembers this? There's a little bit of a secret entrance. Now, can I remember which side it is? There we go. So a painting can actually enter through half of it and no one will ever know. I guess we did a little bit more mining over here. It's linked into our very first mining track there. It also linked into our sort of infinite mining drop down there where if you fall straight down, you land in the water, you're never going to hurt yourself. So this is a little bit of like an underground area. Where did this go to? Oh, I completely forgot about this. Does this lead somewhere as well? Oh my gosh, I'm completely remembering all this for the very first time. So this will lead us outside of the house right here. Oof, almost hit my head on the uh, ice then. If we go back in and then turn right instead, I think this should work. Yo, check that out. It's a little bit of a secret entrance. I can't remember if I ever put a lever on the outside to get in from this direction, but it doesn't look like I did. But hey, that's pretty cool. From the outside, you'd never know that was there. It just looks like grass, so very sneaky. So that's pretty much the whole of the house, but there were so many builds outside of just the house area. One of my favorite areas in my LA Adventure World was the Rainbow Sheep Farm. It's meant to have every single color. I feel like some of them may be missing. They're so freaking loud as well. The animals are just oinking away the pigs, uh, barring away the sheep. And this is where we pretty much had every single animal, I believe, at the time I played Minecraft. Because Minecraft was on a far older version back then. We had chickens who were on a slightly lower level, so they couldn't escape. But then, as you guys have seen, there's some in the house. So they always managed to, manage to find one way out. And then one of my favorite areas, the little kitty cat areas. We ended up having, I guess, five cats in total. A ginger cat, uh, a few tabby cats as well. And those dogs look like they want to try and get in and eat them. But they ain't, it ain't getting in, guys, all right? It's not happening. Now, bear in mind, this was way before Pokemon Go came out. And I didn't really even do many Pokemon videos, I think, on the channel. But I built a custom pixel art Pokeball. And you'll see a few pixel arts around the world as well. And I'd, built, I'd grab designs from online and then build it within the episode or build most of it in the episode and finish it off off camera for you guys. But a Pokeball is one of the most simple but one of the most fun ones. And obviously it used a load of colored wool from the sheep. So the sheep were basically my building resource of anything. And then you guys let me know that if you name a um, oh, Iron Golem dinner bone, he turns upside down. And because I didn't want him to escape, I hung him on his pole. So... We're basically, we basically killed, no we haven't killed, we basically tied up and hung an upside down iron golem, which sounds very mean, but he's fine guys, don't worry about him. So we've explored almost all the house, however you can see there there's two different stairways or two different tracks, cart tracks that take you in different directions. One of the final things I built on the house, uh, on the world, and I think that's why it probably looks the best, it does look quite good, I can't lie, is a little farm shed area here, it's where I stored a load of the melons, a load of the wheat, now, it actually led down, this is quite complicated, to a little bit of a rafting area here. And this rafting area would actually lead outside and allow you to go to um, another little build, actually. I'll show you guys in a little bit. So, we'll take that in a second, guys. So, I guess you guys have seen this already, so I may as well show you. But I spawned really close to a village, um, field of villagers, obviously, which is quite lucky. So, it's a very good little village spot, very close by. And I also made a flappy bird um, pixel art. Flappy bird was all the rage back then, so... That was so much fun to do. And then also a Toon Link. I think this is from the Minish Cap, the Game Boy Advance game um, of Zelda. And I absolutely adore that pixel art. I think it looks so good. We'll take a closer look at the Link in a second when we go around there. But we've got two tracks. Let's go this way first, guys, okay? Is there any... Oh, there's not a cart there. Have I got one on me? No. All right, guys, I found a cart. Don't worry. So I push this button here. Bam, baby. It starts the cart ride. You can see all over my world. And it's a great way of seeing everything I've built as we head over 
to what was a very monumental and a big part of the beginning of this uh, series. This big mountain here. Now, the very first episode, a sheep fell from it. And I made a little bit of a joke about it. And we ended up turning this into the Alley A's Cave of Awesome. No enemies, please. How the, how the heck did we get in? Um, how did we do this? I think I'm gonna have to break my way in, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, old Ali. I can't remember how we got in. <laughs> okay, so once we got in through the door, that I have no idea how it worked. Um, it led into a little portal. Oh, the portal's been closed. I'm not sure why that, but this should lead to a nether portal. Have I got a flint and steel on me to light it up? And maybe one in here. Here we go. So if I light this up, this actually leads into the nether. This is one of the portals we made. And we also built a very cool stained glass window out here that looked out over to the far side of the map. And you may be able to see that over there. Another massive treehouse build. Guys, I did so much on the server. And if we head up here, this is a very cool story. So I never live streamed on YouTube or even maybe Twitch, I don't think, until this series. So on episode 25, episode 50, episode 75, and episode 100, I believe all four of those episode landmarks. I live streamed every episode of Ali A's adventure. And in the first live stream, we built this stairway all the way up here. All the way up here. So we eventually came out into this very cool little glass building here. And this glass building not only had a beautiful, beautiful, a beautiful vantage point across the whole of our world, as you can see, Ali A's mountain. Oh, it's live stream 50! Wow! That's embarrassing. Maybe I live streamed for the first time in episode 50, not 25. That, I think it must be in episode 50. I got that confused. Sorry, guys. But then it led all the way down here. Wait, what the heck? How did I... How do we get out? Do we trap ourselves? Oh, here we go. <laughs> led all the way down here over to a little lighthouse we built filled with glowstone. And this little area, again, looked out over the whole of the world. It lit up our adventurous, awesome world. I don't think I ever got enough glowstone to complete it, but this little lighthouse, as I show you guys here, I absolutely loved it. It is, It was so, so cool. One of the highest points, I think, on the server. So, guys, we've just checked out our little lighthouse, and let's head over in this direction right here and check out all the builds over here. The same system with the cart. Led us over to the very first treehouse I'd ever built. And oh, oh no, there's already a car here. This could be a bit of a crash. Jump out, Ali. Jump out, jump out. Okay, bye-bye, cart. You go back to the other side. You are not needed. Up here, we're just like a few plant pots, a few little... What's actually in here? Yeah, snowballs and stuff. And that was pretty much it. But it did lead over to this very cool area here with some awesome, awesome builds. Now, unfortunately, there's meant to be a little snow golem in here. Or snow... snowman? Snow golem? I can't remember what they're called. But basically, a little snowman that shoots snowballs at you. And I, I trapped him away in here so that he could take on enemies. It's like a little bit of a defense turret system, which is quite cool. But I think because it's, it's sunny, I think he's melted the poor thing. And then I built my original Alley A logo. I think I built this from scratch. Like, I don't think I had designed this or had any art work to follow. I just made it as we went along. And I absolutely love it. I think it's awesome. I love my old logo, although I have a new one now. So this is a really cool build in the server. And I lit it up with a few torches. And then I also did some Mario pixel art as well. I love the pixel art. I still love it to this day. Mario over there. Zelda over there. Popin over there. Flappy Bird over there. Alia over there. And then I think it was episode 100. I built this huge, huge warp pipe. And I don't think I live streamed this one. I think I did this all off camera, but it's like an hour's episode, so it's super, super long. So as you can see, we put the little uh, 100 letters here as well. We can't actually get behind it. And built that again out of all of the awesome wool from all of our beautiful sheep. And it's actually just reminded me where this links up to. So this little pathway links all the way up back to here, where I said we were going to bow over to another build. So, there's loads of... Oh, God, I can't remember what it's called. Basically, this uh, little sand dune stuff you can only get in the nether, which protects... Oh, where's the little kitty cat? There's some kitty cat somewhere. Which protects your boat from breaking. Um... Oh god, this is a new boat. The boats were not like this when I played Nally's Adventure, that's for sure. Normally if I'd hit the wall like this amount of times... Oh my god, the game is it's so slow with all of these shader mods and everything. Not cheating mods, just visual mods. Oh my god, can you see how bad I am? But it led us over here towards this build. So let's take a look. You can do this, Ali. You can do this. Yes! Oh no, it's another boat! Okay, we'll get out of here because I think I may crash into our other boat if I'm not careful. So this is another one of our awesome builds. Bam! Now, for the very first time, I explored a, uh, like a, a sand dune area. A sandy area where you can get yourself loads of awesome little um, valuables and items from uh, basically like little caves, little sand caves. They have lots of traps in them, so they're dangerous. But I took a load of the builds, the loads of the blocks back 
I made this little area and called it Allier's Sand Castle right here. Now, there was never much to it, unfortunately. Oh, there was a few chests. I don't think I ever filled them up. I never spent too much time over here because of how far away it was from the house. You can see the lighthouse over there, by the way. And there were a few waterways, which made a little bit of an interesting route out. So you could always just float your way down like this rather than using the stairs and then go all the way back out again, which was pretty cool. Just to sort of like momentously um, remember our awesome first sand adventure as well. Now there's a few more builds to show you guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we, we've successfully made it back, guys. Good job. Good job, Ali. Your boating skills are still... Well, actually, they're never great, but they're okay. They're passable. So both of these builds are actually in opposite directions. We've got the entrance, the like the official entrance before you can get to the front of the Allier's awesome mansion or house. I think we'll leave that till last because I actually took on the Wither Boss over there to finish off the very last episode. So we'll leave that till last. Instead, we're going to head over. Let me remember which direction it's in. I think it's over here. Past Mr. Flappy Bird to a tree house, which you can see off in the distance. Now, this thing was cool. I actually remember, I think, when I first played this game, this village was here, and it's it's very lucky to have a village so close to your spawn point, as I said, but I didn't realize that. I was such a big Minecraft noob, and I think during one of the night times, zombies came in and just killed all of the villagers, which wasn't very useful. I think I tamed my very first ocelot here as well, and to get a cat, you have to tame an ocelot. Not an easy task at all. You need a lot of fish, that's for sure. Here we are, guys. This is the bottom, at least, of the awesome Allier treehouse. A very cool spiral staircase. Also, there's a waterfall as well, but that's probably for getting down rather than getting up. So let's climb up to the top. Up we go, up we go. Ooh, are we there? Are we there? Almost. Almost. One more floor to go up, guys. So this turned out to be our little potion and brewery area. So for the very first time, I got myself enough items and the ability to make myself some potions. It involved going to the nether and getting a blaze rod to make myself this little potion stand here. I don't think we've got anything going on in it at the moment. No, nothing going on here at the moment. We also had a little bit of oh, what are these called? They're like wells? Cauldrons? Pretty much one of the most useless things in the game because to be honest with you, these things are a far more better water source. But as you can see in here, we had a load of potions. With instant health, strength, speed, and loads of like the items you need to make all of these potions. A lot of these bad boys were used in the final battle against the Wither Boss and was so, so useful. And this area really served us so well for the final battle of this series. Without it, honestly, I would have been absolutely screwed. It was a lot of fun building up to this massive, massive tree. And I think what I did is I took saplings and placed four next to each other and grew a tree on top of a tree, on top of a tree, on top of a tree to get it this high. And as you can see, it gives you a really good vantage point of the whole world and loads and loads of our builds. You can see just behind the link over there, there's the awesome Allier entrance. There's only one way to go down, boys. And that's by the awesome waterfall. Hell yeah. Alright, look at that. We're literally just sliding down the waterfall. So cool. So guys, this is the entrance I showed you earlier. Or like, the it turned into the entrance. I still consider the other side the real entrance to my little house. But we added on, I show, probably like I showed you guys a little two link as well. Uh, I've, we added on the beautiful link pixel art, which looks amazing. If I do say myself, we got another escapee. Look at him. Look at him just eating the grass. Stop ruining my house. This gate was meant to extend all around the side because mobs were a big issue on the server. There were no cheats. Like, all of it was legit. None of it was hacked at all. I can't even, like, if I do, t uh, is it set time day now? Doesn't work. I can't do any cheats at all. So, this is a grand, grand gate that I built. And I'm actually seriously impressed. Like, I'm going to say myself. This was all done by pistons. It would open and close by itself. And end up having just an A on top of it rather than like the Allier logo, but it turned into the grand entrance of the Allier world. Now, over here, and I think this is why my, my horse is left here, is the final thing to show you guys. And this guy's a bit of a beast, he had diamond armor. I thought I had a horse with diamond armor. I knew I had one somewhere. Over in the distance, I can't remember quite how far it is, but we'll try and make it out there. I can see it, guys. It is very dark. I apologize. Oh, of course, there's a village over there as well. I think we did a lot of trading with that village, actually. But this is where we actually finished off the series, believe it or not. It was in this battle tower just over there. So I set this up as like a pre um, wither boss sort of preparation zone. And as I said, it's really dark. I apologize. I'll put some torches up, actually. But let me just show you this quickly because it was very cool. Oh my gosh, I finally 
finally made it up. At least I torched up this area. But look how freaking dark it is. I forgot how dark Minecraft got. We've got to wait till it gets to daytime. But it's a little bit of a protection spawn area. The idea was that I would... Um, where's a little bow and arrow I can try this on, actually? Let's use the infinity bow. The idea was I'd spawn in the wither boss and I'd just shoot out infinite arrows. Because you only need... Oh, God. I'm shooting my own little castle here. You only need one uh, arrow for an infinity bow. So this is going to be my little attacking base. In the end, it didn't happen. I just did it down on the ground. And, like, I never needed the base. But it was a cool build to make. Guys, I knew I'd forget to show you something. I forgot that we had our own little pool. We had our own pool house, baby. That's right. We made our own custom pool with our own custom tiling. It also had its very own diving board as well. Should we see if we can dive in? Let's try and do this reverse way. And we could swim around. And there we had a glowstone underneath. I could have... Oh, wow. Even stairs leading out of it as well. Could use the glowstone over on the lighthouse, actually. And we had a little bar area, a little serving area. I wanted some drinks here as well. There's some coal. But I never set up the drinks. But to be honest with you, if I had this pool in real life, I'd be pretty happy with it. But guys, I think that concludes the tour of our very first Minecraft adventure and world. I say it's ours more so because you guys helped me with it so much with the ideas, with the tuning in every episode, starting uh, with me guys on episode one all those years ago when I knew nothing about the game. And so, so many great memories within this world. It is so much fun. I absolutely love it. Obviously, nowadays, there's loads of mods, there's loads of extra stuff you can do as well. And uh, Claire's never played Minecraft before, so we're thinking maybe of both starting up a series together. We play a little bit of Minecraft. Maybe I'll set up a mod list as well, make it a little bit more interesting for those of you guys that played a lot of Minecraft, potentially. And just build a load of awesome stuff with new ideas, new things going on together in the world. Maybe that's something you guys want to see. Regardless, hopefully you guys have really enjoyed this throwback episode. I've had so much fun looking at everything I did all those years ago, uh, ago in this Minecraft world. It was so much fun. If you guys remember watching all those episodes back in the day, thank you so much. You guys are OG supporters, and if you haven't seen it before, hopefully you enjoyed the tour regardless. So if you've enjoyed, give it a big fat thumbs up. Let me know your favorite bit of this awesome Alley Adventure world build. And actually, I'll leave a link to pre-orders of my brand new book, Alley's Adventures. Game on down below in the description if you want to check it out as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been so much fun, and I'll see you guys very soon for a brand new video.